Hi and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer Power. Today we're praying against a spirit of corruption on the business mountain. Many of you may have businesses of your own or you may be dealing with businesses as a regular consumer as you go to make transactions with different things in business, banks, you're going to go buy things at the grocery store and corruption can affect any of us if it's on the business mountain. You're going to the store and instead of someone dealing with you fairly, they're operating in greed, they're operating in dishonesty, or perhaps you, you're running a business and you're trying to make a transaction with another business and instead of being forthright and being uh, full disclosure, they're hiding information. For example, you're entering into a contract to buy a house. Unbeknownst to you there's problems in the home there's plumbing problems there's rats that are all throughout the infrastructure the owner knows this but they're hiding this information from you now there are things that we do in the natural for example you're buying a house you're going to get an inspection right there's things that you do to protect yourself so that you can have good business dealings but we desire that we would operate not in corruption yes there's measures that we take in the natural because we want to make sure uh, that we're getting the right property not just that we're trying to see if someone's lying to us but we're trying to see if things are fair and that this is the correct property for us but we also want to operate fairly because it honors god when we honor him and being decent amen to others when we treat them fairly when we love others as we would love ourselves and we wouldn't want to deceive ourselves and so we don't want to deceive others we don't want to be deceitful in our business dealings we don't want to be stealing things off the top we want to be fair and we want to operate in full disclosure with others that doesn't mean that you know you have an advantage and it's not an unfair advantage it's just something that you are keeping to yourself for wise reasons or certain things that you don't want to share and need to share with others just for wisdom purposes. But we don't want to be people that are withholding information that could change someone else's decision and we're withholding that information to deceive them. Amen? It depends on the intent. So we want to be righteous in our business dealings. We don't want to be people that are trying to deceive others, operating in greed and unfairness. Amen? Idolatry, stealing other people's things. We don't want to do that. So let's see some scriptures about how we should be operating. Proverbs 24, 24 through 25. Whoever says to the guilty you are innocent will be cursed by peoples and denounced by nations. But it will go well with those who convict the guilty and rich blessing will come up on them. Amen. So operating in honesty, right? We're calling that which is good, good, and that which is evil, evil. We're not twisting the truth to call those that are guilty innocent, but rather convicting the guilty as that should occur. So some of this has to do with the governmental mountain. Your business is in uh, operating fairly and ethically. It's registered with the government. So there's some interplay between the different mountains here that we can see. But we want to be people that are honest and fair. So let's see what happens with evildoers. Proverbs 28 and 5. Evildoers do not understand what is right, but those who seek the Lord understand it fully. So as I seek the Lord, I'm getting understanding. I'm going to understand what is right because it's in his word and his Holy Spirit brings things to my remembrance. His Holy Spirit is a comforter. Amen. So the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding me into all truth. Amen. Matthew 5, 38 and 39. You have heard that it was said eye for eye and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. Amen. So this is reminding us that we want to be people that are merciful as someone does evil to us. We don't return evil for evil, but we return good for evil. And we're not turning away from them, but we're offering up to them our other cheek also. Amen. We're people that are generous and fair, even when people aren't generous and fair to us. Amen. So we're going to begin to pray for this against the spirit of corruption on the business mountain, but we're praying for favor. We're praying for right righteousness to come forth on this business mountain. Father God, we thank you that you are a God of righteousness. You are a God that is fair and just and true. You are not deceitful in your business dealings as you deal with us, as you create things in this world, as you create businesses through your people. You do not tell us to operate unfairly or unethically, but you lead us and guide us into all truth. You help us navigate the business realm to be people 
that are upright, who are blameless, you help us, Father God, with your spirit because your spirit is truth. So we thank you, Father God, that we have the spirit of truth within us. So we do not have any corruption from you. Remove any corruption from us, Father God, and forgive us for operating in any sort of corruption in our business dealings, whether we withheld information that could change someone else's decision so that we could have an unfair advantage, whether we tried to trick someone into buying something, tricking someone into getting more from them than we ought to, Father God, forgive us, Lord. We ask you, Father God, to remove any wickedness from us, any sort of temptation, Lord, that's trying to get us to operate unfairly in the business realm so that we can get over because of greed, idolatry, or covetousness. Remove this from us right now, Father God, and forgive us for operating in this way. Forgive us for lying when dealing with other people. Forgive us for treating them deceitfully for trying to get an unfair advantage, Father God, for trying to take the wealth from them to use it for ourselves. When your word tells us the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous, so we don't need to scheme and uh, be deceitful. But as we operate up righteous, righteously rather, as we operate upright, Lord, you're helping us. When we seek you first in your kingdom, all these things are being added unto us. So we don't need to fear. We don't need to have some sort of an unfair advantage against others in order to have a good business dealing. But rather when we operate in truth, we get the best deal. We operate in honesty and not deceit. Help us, Father God, to be people of truth, people of mercy, turning our cheek to the other side when someone slaps us on one side, Father God. Help us, Lord, not to resist the evil person. We don't want to call that which is evil good and that which is good evil, Lord, but we want to speak truth on the business mountain. We don't want to call the innocent guilty or the guilty innocent, Father God. So help us, Lord, when we see these unfair dealings, when we see these things, to call them out, Lord, in prayer. Sometimes we will have to alert things or tell people in authority, Father God, but help us to be people of prayer. Help us to be people that are exposing these things in prayer, Lord, to get wisdom from you and praying mercy for those that we see operating in corruption, operating deceit and dishonesty, Father God. Help us, Lord, not to perpetuate violence on the business mountain, trying to uh, deceive or capture unfair advantages that leads to the destruction of others where literally they're being led into harm. We pray, Father God, against criminal activities on this business amount. Yes, Lord, I see that in the spirit. Uh, the, 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 the evil business dealings that have happened in the past and so much corruption on the business mountain that happens in illegal systems where there's corruption, there's money laundering, there's things that go forth where there's crimes, where people are being killed and murdered because people are trying to steal wealth. They're trying to create unfair advantages. So literally people are being taken out. Father God, remove this wickedness from us in our country. Remove this wickedness from our cities, Lord. Where we are seeing corruption, we are seeing unfair advantages because people are oppressing others. You love the oppressed. You're a father to the father, a husband to the widow. So we pray right now, Father God, for disruption on the family mountain where this is occurring, disruption of the illegal activities of the money laundering, the crimes, the drug abuse, all of these things happening on the business mountain. We pray right now, Father God, forgive us, Lord, for perpetuating the violence and for allowing these things to go forth, these illegal dealings. So many are dealing in corruption. They're using uh, their advantages to operate in crimes. They're working with the government to steal deals. They're using these things unfairly. So we pray right now for the oppressed. We pray for those that are being oppressed on the business mountain who are being taken advantage of. They're not getting the deals that you have placed for them because of hindering spirits. So we break and bind every hindering spirit right now. We pray that you blind every hindering spirit and we plead the blood of Jesus over this business mountain that there would be fair dealings. And we thank you, Father God, that a thief caught stealing has to return sevenfold. So it's returned to them sevenfold. Every deal that's gone awry because there was corruption is being returned to them right now. So we repent, Lord, on behalf of those that have done corruption and on behalf of those who did not go up and fight because whatever is not of faith is sin. So forgive us, Lord, for not fighting on the business mountain, not fighting with our words, Lord, but fighting in prayer. Forgive us, Father God, for not praying. Forgive us for allowing these things to go forth, that the, for the violence that's being perpetuated on the business mountain where some are being threatened 
some businesses, Christian businesses being threatened right now, being threatened because they won't sell to certain things. They don't engage in certain illegal activities and they're being threatened right now. We pray against the persecution on the business mountain. There's persecution coming. There's persecution coming. We pray against it right now. We pray the blood of Jesus and we thank you for righteous businesses rising up, crushing the plans of darkness, crushing the plans of the wicked one where there will be righteous people selling in the land. They will have more than enough. They will walk in abundance. They will walk in prosperity to advance the kingdom of God. No more of this prosperity gospel where it's being taught, where we get this wealth to be uh, squandered on ourselves, but that is used for the kingdom of God. Yes, we will be blessed and we will have abundance. We will be able to enjoy it. But our focus is not on us, not on selfish things, not on wealth that will that waste away in this earth, but on treasures and stored up in heaven. So forgive us, Father God, for wasting away the wealth for that you've transferred the wealth of the wicked and some of us have squandered to help us to be faithful stewards. Help us to be good stewards, stewards of wisdom, Lord. Help us, Father God, not to be moved by emotion and the business mountain, sowing into this one and that one because of emotions or because of trying to get relationship with this one and that one, but help us to sow, help us to do what you've called us to do. Where God has called you as an investor, as an, uh, they call it an angel investor, where they're calling you to invest in certain things. But that call should come from the Lord, not from man. That it would call, that you would be called, amen? So yes, God is calling some to sow into certain businesses that you're going to birth forth businesses. You're going to partner with other people and birth forth businesses. You're going to go into certain realms that you never thought imaginable because God has given you wealth to bring up businesses because you see the righteous people. You have an apostolic anointing and then you are going forth. You're planting. You're going forth and not just planting. Some of you are called into government to rise up as righteous leaders that are uh, spearheading laws that are in favor of the church and are blessing the righteous and not the wicked. Some of you are called to go forth in education as leaders in education, leaders in government. Some of you are called to do these things. You're rising up in ministry. You're rising up in the religion mountain. You're rising up. You're rising up. God is calling forth his people right now. Like never before. We need to be on guard against the evil one, but we need to be alert in the spirit, praying always with all supplication, praying for the saints, praying for the lost, that they may come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Praying for the saints that they can hold fast and stay immovable, fervently praying. We need to pray, people of God. It's not a time to become stagnant, lazy in the spirit. It's not a time to waste away, and it never is. But such a time as this, like never before, to be so sold out in the things of God. Some of you will say, well, you're just too fiery. You're just too passionate. No, I'm not passionate and fiery enough. I need more fire. I need more fire from God. I need more. I've not arrived. I've not reached any sort of a pinnacle. I can go deeper, further with God. And so I ask him, fill me up on today. Give me more of your power. I need your power to do what I need to do today. So I tell you, people of God, get more power from the Most High. Invite him in to your circle of influence. Invite him in because he is the reason why you have any sort of godly influence is from him. That he's giving you this influence to move mountains, to speak life into people, to make a difference, to make a change. So I ask you on today, ask God for more fire. Each and every day, I need more of you, Father God. Yesterday's anointing won't do. I need more of you. I need more of your power. Amen. I need more of you to do what you've called me to do.